Residents of the Kursk region are faced with the situation that millions of Ukrainians found themselves in at the beginning of the full-scale invasion. They became internally displaced persons and what's more, they saw that the authorities don't care about their problems. They have essentially been forgotten. But this will not lead to protests in the Russian Federation, says Russian opposition politician and former State Duma deputy Igor Yakovenko. The analyst said that many people still harbor myths about Russia. One of them is that Russians support the war and Putin. One simple thing must be firmly understood. In a totalitarian country, which modern Russia is, there is not and cannot be any sociology. In fact, over the course of several centuries of the existence of this state, which traces its origins back to the Moscow Principality, the population has never been a people. Never. There has never been a single moment when the population changed power at elections. Yakovenko noted, the population of Russia has never been a subject. It has been calm about any power as such. Stalin means Stalin. Khrushchev means Khrushchev. Gorbachev is also not bad. Yeltsin is good. When Prigozhin came to Rostov and then went to Moscow, it was fine. He was applauded. Ukraine came. Also good. So we will live under the Ukrainians, he added. For this reason, there is no need to expect any protest in the Russian Federation, although there is and will be discontent in society, of course. But Putin has an internal army which is larger in number than the army that is currently fighting in Ukraine, and any protest will be destroyed more brutally than it was in Tiananmen Square in China, the expert said. Kursk region residents who spoke to the Moscow Times expressed frustration with what they see as government inaction and fears about the war now at their doorstep. People are of no concern to anyone. Anna, a 28-year-old resident of the Kursk region, told the Moscow Times, criticizing the Kremlin's response to the assault. For Russia, we are just a piece of the map. For Ukrainians, we are enemies supporting Putin's regime. Everyone here is on their own, she said. Kursk residents who spoke to the Moscow Times said that officials are either unresponsive or ineffective in their efforts, yet refrained from blaming Putin directly. Svetlana, 32, said that while locals blame Kyiv for the attack, they also questioned the competence of the Russian armed forces. How could they, Russia, have missed the build-up of such a large number of Ukrainian troops at the border? Svetlana told the Moscow Times, adding that locals do not directly blame the authorities for abandoning them. Ukraine's 3rd Separate Assault Brigade launched a counterattack in Kharkiv Oblast and advanced almost 2 square kilometers deep into the frontline area, the brigade said. As a result of counterattack actions, the brigade took control of the battalion defense area of the occupiers, enemy platoon, company strongholds and advanced almost two square kilometers into the front. The assault operations prevented the enemy's attack from the direction of Makievka and relieved tension from other critical frontline areas in the neighboring brigade zones, the brigade said. The main objective of the operation was to knock down the offensive potential of the 20th Army of the Russian Federation. At the moment, this task has been accomplished, Brigade Commander, Colonel Andrei Bailetsky said. The ratio of forces on the battlefield, 2.5 to 1 in favor of the enemy. Plus hostile support forces. It is noted that in four days, the enemy lost 300 horsepower in manpower, and a significant amount of equipment and weapons were destroyed or damaged. The uniqueness of the deal was that we attacked a superior enemy and won. Success depended on detailed planning, unconventional solutions, coordinated work of artillery, air defense, BPS and reconnaissance. But the heroes of the battlefield were tankers, sappers, scouts and, first of all, attack aircraft, the brigade commander said. Information about the operation has not been disclosed until now for security reasons. The assault actions diverted the enemy's attack in the direction of Makievka and relieved tension from other critical sections of the front in the areas of neighboring brigades. Now the occupiers are increasing the use of aviation, MLRS and long-range artillery. The enemy is trying to regain what was lost. But the third assault holds the lines. 
The main aim of the operation was to bring down the offensive potential of the 20th Army of the Russian Federation. At the moment, this task has been accomplished, Brigade Commander Bailetsky said. The 3rd Separate Assault Brigade is known to have been operating around the village of Barova in Kharkiv Oblast, as it reported the thwarting of a Russian attempt to make a breakthrough in the area in early July.